Inductance of a solenoid. Consider a uniformly wound solenoid having capital N turns and length L. Assume L is much longer than the radius of the windings and the core of the solenoid is air. Part A. Find the inductance of the solenoid. Part B. Calculate the inductance of the solenoid. If it contains 300 turns, its length is 25.0 cm and its cross-sectional area is 4.00 cm square. Part C. Calculate the self-induced EMF in the solenoid. If the current it carries decreases at the rate of 50 amperes per second. Okay, so the flux through the current loop, phi b, will be equal to the magnetic field multiplied by the area because we are assuming we have a more or less uniform magnetic field inside that is uh, parallel to the area vector. The magnetic field of a solenoid is permeability of free, uh, free space, number of turns per unit length n, uh, the current carried by each winding multiplied by the area will give us the flux. So this is basically mu zero permeability of free space, then number of turns, uh, capital N divided by L, the length of the solenoid, current times the area. And we know that inductance is equal to capital N phi B divided by I. So if we have capital N turns uh, in the loop, it is uh, capital N phi B divided by I. So we already had a capital N here. It's, it will become N square. So we will have for the inductance mu zero capital N square uh, current times area divided by length times 1 over the current. The currents will disappear and we will see that the inductance of a solenoid is mu zero number of turns square area divided by length. So that's the answer to part A. And you can compare it to the parallel plate capacitor, capacitance, parallel plate capacitor, capacitance was epsilon zero A divided by D. So in a way, this is similar, mu zero A over L with another factor, capital N square. Now let's give a numerical value for the inductance. The inductance L is permeability of free space 4 pi 10 to minus 7 uh, in SI units multiplied by capital N square. So we have 300 turns, 300 square divided by the uh, length. Length is 25 centimeters, 25 10 to minus 2 meters. And the area is 4 centimeters squared, 4 times 10 to minus 4 meters squared. So this gives us 1.81 times 10 to minus 4 uh, Henry. Therefore, the inductance is 0 0.181 milli. Henry. Okay, so this is our answer to part B. And uh, you can see that uh, this can be written as because it is flux divided by the current and uh, flux is uh, Tesla meter square. So this is 1.81 10 to minus 4 Tesla meter square divided by ampere. That's the N phi B over I a unit, so SI unit that it gives us. So let's play with this with these units a little bit. Um, remember that we have the Lorentz force on a moving charge conductor, Q V cross with B. And this basically tells us that Tesla is 
uh, Newton seconds divided by meter coulombs, right? So this is in Tesla, this is in meters per second, this is in coulombs, this is Newtons. Okay, and uh, if I multiply this with the uh, area, so Tesla times the area, that is a Newton second divided by meter coulombs multiplied with the area, area SI unit is meter square. Uh, and I divide it by the current N phi B over I. So that's per ampere. So this is amperes. We will see that these, one of these meters will cancel and we will obtain Newton meter per coulomb multiplied with uh, seconds per ampere. And what is Newton meter? Uh, that's the uh, force times delta x, that's the work done. So it's energy, joules per coulombs multiplied by seconds per ampere. And uh, joules per coulombs is basically volts. So that's the potential energy, remember, is uh, Q times V. So uh, we have volts, seconds per ampere. That's the SI unit, Henry. Okay, so basically uh, Henry which is uh, defined by the equation epsilon L equals uh, minus L di dt. That's volt seconds, volt seconds per ampere. That's the unit of Henry. And indeed, that's what we find here. Equivalently, it is Tesla meter square per ampere. Now, part C asks me the in self-induced EMF. Uh, for the self-induced EMF, electromotive force, uh, we have epsilon equals minus L di dt. And uh, the inductance we have found, 1.81 times 10 to minus 4 Henry. The current is decreasing, so the derivative is negative. 50 amperes per second, so it's minus 50, and this gives us uh, for the induced, self induced EMF 9.05 millivolts. Okay. So we've gone through an example for the inductance. Inductance of a solenoid can be calculated if you assume that the magnetic field inside the solenoid is uniform and has a value mu zero number of turns per unit length times the current that flows through the windings multiplied by the cross-sectional area A. So it's mu zero capital N over L current times the area and the inductance remember is uh, defined by epsilon L equals minus L di dt, which is minus N phi B and D phi B dt. So L is N phi B over I. So this is going to give us uh, mu zero capital N square area A divided by the length L as the inductance of the solenoid. If we plug in the given numbers, we obtain 0 0.181 millihenry. And uh, here I have gone through some exercise to show you that this is actually indeed a Tesla meter square per ampere. Tesla meter square per ampere is equivalent to volt seconds per uh, ampere. And uh, for the self-induced EMF minus LDI dt, if the current is decreasing at a rate 50 amperes per second, the IDT is minus 50, multiplying it by the inductance, we find the self-induced EMF 9.05 millivolts.